You're tuned into The Trap. You're tuned into The Trap House Rocks Show. Miss LB Management. Blackster. 063. Eventlevel.com. Indie Republic. We are indie. Yo, it's your boy DJ MLK checking in. Hood Rich. Grand Hustle in this motherfucker hustle gang. You know what I'm saying? GDOD. Get do or die. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you're tuned in. You know what I'm saying? To that Trap House Rocks radio show. Miss LB. You know what I'm saying? Blowing that damn loud. You know what I'm saying? You got Z Nuff Star getting it in. But in the meantime, you might want to shoot over to eventlevel.com and fuck with them. Trap House Rocks radio show. I'm out. Yes, indeed. It's the Mix King, Ron G. And you're tuned into Trap House Rocks Radio with Miss LB and Z Nubstar. You heard? Hey, yo, man, hold the fuck up, man. What the fuck is guapin', man? This your motherfucking nigga, Double O, man. Better known as J motherfucking Hood, man. Represent that ODG movement and all that. And right now, I'm chillin', man. Coolin' out, man. Trap House Rocks Radio with my homegirl, Miss LB. Hey, yo, throw some exclusive on out. Leg out. Yeah, nigga. Fuck yourself, nigga. You're Go some Ray Quan, Big Daddy Kane, 91 Nas, 92 Big, yeah, 94 Pop. I cook a whole brick and let my rap. I got a trampoline trap, my chick jump all night. Boy, I got olds of that fish scale and dumb hard white. Yo, who you know in Carolina got Broadway, yeah? The fiends dance for it like they in a Broadway play. Yo, I got plugs over here, I'm plugged over there. Plug, 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 nigga, I'm plugged everywhere. And when Migo come through, ain't no habla English. But he play with them keys and don't use no fingers. I saw Kilo niggas turn into Christina's. When them niggas go to jail, they some real good singers. When I say Tata, I ain't talking about Queens, I'm talking T.Y. Winston, the kid with the fleas. And back, back, when I dig in them Levi jeans, I get cut like a nigga who ain't make the team. A nigga, fuck if I don't make the screen, cause I know how to take a back of hard white and make it green. And motherfucker, I could pay your fee, $50, he'll break in your Lexus and take your screens. While you frontin', I'ma get this cream. The cop of old school with a rag top and make it lean. Every time I play the strip, I make a scene. With my Call keep flip flopping blue to green. Damn. Yeah, that's candy, baby. And it's official. I got my shit painted in Miami, baby. Got soldiers that's ready to buck. So I could get you wet. Like a horny bitch ready to fuck. Or when that danger leave a hole in you Reese cup signs. And I'm like Joy, and I be wearing that 4 5. My niggas more loud. You come home and find your mother and your kids in the living room hog time. And we ain't through yet. We killing everybody in your whole family, nigga. Then we get. And you went on DNTY, Rosen Ray Kwan, Big Daddy Kane, 91 Nas, 92 Big, yeah, 94 Pop. I cook a whole brick and let my rap house on DNTY, EPMD, 93 Mob, Jay Z, and 88. In the club 50, new 3000 locks. I cook a whole brick and let my rap house rock. What's up, everybody? You are now tuned in to Trap House Rocks, Trapped Out Tuesday, EventLevel.com, Indie Republic Network. You already know I'm Miss LB. You see us here on the camera. And tonight I've got Ziggy Wisco, and all we've got is his picture right now. He's trying to work some things out, but he's with us. Say what's up, Ziggy. What's up, Don't know where right Ziggy's here? at. Where what the up? Fuck is I'm Ziggy? right here. I'm right here. What's up? What's up? We have Mike Fiore, as you see right here. Uh, my homie, Mike Fiore, and Miss Greatness, she'll be joining us a little bit later. Probably Zenith Star. You know, we've got an incredible show lined up for you tonight. Of course, we have the most dope guest ever, okay, each week. So tonight we've got Anthony De La Crosse, and I hope I'm saying that last name right. He's out of Oklahoma. Incredible artist. He's not just an artist. I mean, he's everything. Um, he is um, an ac acoustic hip-hop Singer, songwriter, lyricist, guitar player, producer. He's a true artist. True yes, artist. he is. He's the total package. I can't wait to interview him tonight. Um, while we're getting our other guests situated, I mean our other hosts situated. See, I'm getting them confused because they're acting like guests tonight since they're not here yet. I do think we have greatness now. 
Uh, she'll be coming in a second. Um, let's first say happy birthday to Murda Mook. You know, he's been on our show before. So a big happy birthday shout out to him. I will fill you in on what I did for my birthday if you want me to, Mike and Ziggy. I got I got little bits and pieces of it on Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that I don't have time to go out much. But I did tell Mike that I was going to go live on Periscope. Me and my homegirls, which is my daughter and <laughs> my son's girlfriend, we all went out bar hopping, and that's basically all I did. I didn't get in any trouble. I didn't do things that I didn't remember. Yeah, but uh, let me let me stop yeah. you here, though. She said to me earlier today, I was talking on the phone, she said, I only had two margaritas and seven beers. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? That's a lot. <laughs> it's not that much, okay, if you think about it. Uh, let's try to bring greatness in while we're here on the live show. Let's just bring her in with us. Uh, she'll probably not be aware that we're live, but hey, it is live, so let's do it. Um, I know. You, you just don't want to be in one on one with me and you, huh? Yeah, me and you and Ziggy, because you know it's two guys and one girl. Uh, Miss Greatness, we have her. We have her boobs. We don't have Holy her. Cow. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you are just tuning in for the first time. You happen to have our link. Uh, we're still testing some things, so we're not putting it out there, out there yet. But if you're tuned in for the first time, not a good idea to let your small children maybe watch because we may say anything. I'm just warning you ahead of time, okay? It's really not for the kids, the trap house. Uh, greatness, how are you? She's trying. She's trying. <laughs> She's trying. Her mute. I'm doing great. Hi. You got it. We're so glad that you're joining us tonight. I was telling them about our great guest, and I was also going over what I did for my birthday, which was hardly anything, but it was a great day, and I appreciate all the love that everybody showed me. Of course, all my artists were calling me and texting me and Facebooking me and all that stuff, so so I had a good time. Now, it's Christmas. You know, next week's Christmas. Um, do you guys have any special trips or plans uh, for next week? I, I don't, but I, I can tell you this. When we put the replay back on this today's show... You're always going to notice that my eyes are going over to the left. Okay, because they're looking at greatness. <laughs> they're always going to be leaning that way through this whole show. Okay. So you mean to your right or your left? Which my side? left, your right. Viewers okay. right, my left. She's on top of me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got it better than you. This is great. Ziggy, this is, Ziggy this is what is your plan? Hey, you know. <laughs> I couldn't take it off mute, but... It's okay. Mike, I got you. She said she's got you. No GG app. We're live now. Okay. Um, Ziggy, what are your plans for Christmas next week? Any big plans? No, I ain't really a big holiday nut, you know? But it's about the kids and I just want your family. And, you know, surely you got some of that in you somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. long as my people safe and everybody's safe, you know, I'm cool. That's exactly how I am. As long as everybody else is good, I'm good. Okay. Um, what we're going to do right now, though, we're going to go ahead and take a short break. Make sure you stay tuned in because we're going to get our guest on the line, Anthony De La Cross. And we'll be right back with y'all. Stay tuned in. Straight from the source before magazine covers and by coastal walls before animal to man Walked on all fours and walked upright where hearts were still pure Started gaining the senses, putting the hands where eyes could see Genesis, Buster Rhymes was the place to be For the beautiful struggle, it was quality music Our reflection is eternal, now really what are we proving? Lyrics written to aspire, the words mercenaries for hire Tongue split like snakes, spit it venom, but a hot like fire Ghost pebble turn to ghost face killers The big chains of Wu-Tang, Shaolin, 36 chambers Traded a master forever In between beats and messes, I'm looking for the glow You peacocks and keep your tail feather Guess at the end of it, it's all part of myself I'm black gold, return it to the soil, you are you listening? Are you consciously aware of the words you're taking in? From the lips to your heart, do you swear? Are you curious of what's eating at your soul? Oh, how can we do this? How to remove this internal push and pull? Beware. 
In a world where the darkness blooming Needed some room to breathe deep Learning from the dreams of my sleep And Susan out of my mind The only freedom is being The only way of seeing is believing And keep reaching in mind It's time to remember that rap is hip-hop A child of poetry not Backed up and zipped up Now riding in the tomb of doom Shot up from clips tucked away so low And natural born killers Fathers they don't know Well how we supposed to grow up Skin thick and stay tough In a world where peacekeepers Keep us below us Will it be all one people Today's news to see through See through you Really wish this was a complete free world A good old place to raise my boys and girls In a world that tests nuclear bombs And take free earth to raise their net worth Brainwash us to keep us cursed Are you listening? Are you consciously aware Of what you're taking in? From the lips to your heart do you swear? Are you curious? Of what's eating at your soul? Oh, how can we do this? How to remove this internal push and pull Now for our feature presentation. Station. We are back in the building, trapped out Tuesday right here, eventlevel.com, Indie Republic Network, our special guest, Anthony De La Cross, all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, just stepped in the building. As you can see him right here, say what's up, Anthony. Hello, hello. Uh, can I say it's, it's Delacroix. Okay, we'll see. Okay, let me tell you why I said it like that. Because somebody told me to say it like that. Hmm. <laughs> now, come on, I ain't buying that. You I said Jell Cross, right? No. I, yeah, but the reason I said that was because I typed back to the person that I booked you through. I don't want to call her out like that. And she wrote it just like that, spaced out like the, the, the. So, Delacroix. Right? Delacroix. Yeah, well, it does. It means of the cross, but it is Delacroix. Okay. Um, incredible. Uh, let's let the people know just a little bit about you. I mean, you're an acoustic hip hop singer, songwriter, lyricist, guitar player, and producer. What don't you do? Um, <laughs> give birth to babies. That's right. Uh, I think, I think uh, just by hearing that uh, Beware track, and of course, we've checked you out here. Uh, all of our, our hosts here have checked you out. I think you might be one of my new favorite artists. Just for the record, uh, I don't say oh. I don't say that much to people. It's, uh, hearing him is like a breath of fresh air, Mike. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, he's the first guest we've had on since I've been doing the show, maybe four or five months, that I actually spent some time looking at all his stuff and checking out his stuff because it just kept me more interested and wanting to keep going at it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Yep. Now, tell us about that track that we heard, Beware. Tell us all about that record. Who's singing on the record? Um, okay, so another person with a weird last... I wouldn't say weird. A difficult last name to say. Her name is Erica Karangalan. Karangalan. You got it, first time. Um, she's from the Philippines, but uh, she, 
she actually um, is a hip hop dancer. And we we're gonna work out something like that, do a video, she would do the hip hop stuff. Dancing wise, I do the video uh, as far as the lyrics and stuff. Um, but then I heard her sing. So we got together, we wrote this song. We're like, you know, what do we want to write about? What, what's something that, that people need to hear? Um, so we thought about the idea of people not having filters on. They're just allowing any information to come at them and not really put a filter on what's good for your mind and what's not. Um, whether that's music you're listening to, whether that's movies, whatever. Um, so yeah, so we started writing it, got some local musicians in town, some jazz musicians, some, some college students. Um, and put this record together and it, it was the last record um, that I put together for my album and it came together it's my favorite song on the album but it came together so fast in like maybe a month's time from writing the song to hiring right. musicians to booking the session to getting it recorded uh, yeah so it's I mean it's a call for people to open up your mind uh, take back your mind and don't just don't just believe everything that people tell you you got to search it out for yourself you definitely have to do that these days uh with everything being online you definitely have to do some research <laughs> about things that you hear now you're referred to as a black gypsy could you explain that to the listeners uh well there's multiple meanings uh first meaning um i think it's kind of like the lowest of the low in my mind um you look at how african americans are treated somewhat uh in this culture today um, and, and just throughout history. And then the term of gypsy, um, the gypsies were treated very poorly in the, in the European nations, um, especially by the Nazis. Um, some were sterilized um, because they were sought as impure. Um, so like the music that I'm, I'm bringing, I, like I desire for people to rise up from those lowest places inside of themselves. So I think each one of us has this kind of gypsy nature. We're all kind of searching for what our purpose is. Uh, right. like what we really love in this life and then we're wishing for it but we feel like we can never reach it um well I, i'm trying to say like we can reach it you got to push through and just make it happen right um and then also there's like little um symbolism like you see this um this eye of horus on my hat um it kind of builds back to the royalty of of looking at myself more than an ancestor of a slave but an ancestor of a king or a queen or a goddess so it's multifaceted yeah. Now, I know that you have a bachelor's degree in music production. Does this mean that you do all of your production yourself? Um, well... Or do you reach out to other people to... I, well, I can produce, but this is, this is what that degree really taught me how to do. How to connect with each part of a project and make it happen. Like, I think of a music producer like a Quincy Jones, right? Like, so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have the song, I'll write the lyrics, I'll come up with the basic chords on the guitar. And then I'll go to a, maybe a friend or, or another musician, have them add some parts, uh, maybe write some harmonies, go to a singer, and then all down the line, whether it's artwork, whether it's video work, like I'll connect the chains um, and put the whole project together. Yeah, because I noticed with your music, like you're not just doing a song. Like you're thinking outside of that song in many different ways. Um, whether it's your video, you know, your video concept going along with the music. So you're, right. you, you really cover a lot of ground. Yeah. As an artistic, you have an, an artistic view going on here. It's like I've not seen in a while, which is nice. <laughs> well, I, I think um, something that I, I think is very important um, in any aspect of life, but we're just talking about, let's just talk about creativity. Like, I think we need to be examples of like, what would I create if I didn't care what people thought, like like if I just express myself to the fullest, let them see that hopefully, maybe that might trigger other people to do that same thing instead of just like, oh, here's this cookie cutter model, everybody fit in that, that's the culture, that's who you're gonna be. Like every everybody here is unique in their own person. You know? They should have the right to be that. I've been doing, I've been in this music business 25 years on a, on a higher level, okay? And I tell that to artists coming up in this business all the time. It's like, stop trying to be somebody else. Be yourself. Be what's real. And you'll have longevity. You know, the guys are coming out with all this BS. They don't have longevity. It don't work that way. Just look at the record, the history of music. Just do you, and it'll be better. Whether anyone likes it or not, you're still doing you at the end of the day. <laughs> well, hopefully people will like it. <laughs> I, I mean, we're loving it here already. I know our producer, Cyber Narcotics, I know he's probably digging it so much that you'll probably get played like on every live show we have uh, wow. from this point on. <laughs> Thank you. I, I know how he works. Um, 
It, it's just like I said, a breath of fresh air. Uh, let's get into more detail. I know Mike said that he was watching videos um, that you had. Mike, talk about the videos that you saw because I know that uh, maybe a, your wife was uh, in part in some of these videos and. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I'm listen. Like I said, I've been in this business 25 years. I've done a lot of personal management. Um, everything I've covered every ground of this business. The only, and I'm telling you, the only thing I see wrong with you, the only thing, is it was hard for me to find what I was looking for. Right. Like, but when I found it, it was amazing. Like, you got to make it easier for people to find. That was my one. I think he means. I think what he means is like a uh, blackgypsymusic.com. Now, Mike being the radio host he was looking everywhere on just the website to find your social links and he couldn't mm -hmm. <laughs> so i think that's what it was because i know that uh, everything is black gypsy music the facebook the uh the twitter mm -hmm. and, and the website of course the instagram's a little different i think everybody's is mine is it's not miss lb management you know it's miss lb goes hard on the instagram Tell them your Instagram name so that they can make sure that they can find you. <laughs> well, see, uh, uh, that, that's something I have to simplify. It's Delacroix the Black Gypsy. So, it's, I mean, it's, somebody said it's the longest tag name available yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> so uh, maybe like DBA or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll work something out. Um, but Black Gypsy Music is, is where you, you can attach to everything. And the website um, is amazing. I mean, the Thank website you. is well put together. It's very professional. Your whole... Um, online presence is professional in my opinion I love to see that in an artist because it shows you know how much they care about their music okay it, to me that's what it shows um, well now, and also I'll be with his what is with his tracks that he records in the studio they're phenomenal but his live shows are even more phenomenal I like, I'm watching live I saw a few live performances on, on some of these videos they were amazing I mean they were absolutely amazing because People are seeing you. I can notice people are seeing you and not know much about your music and you're entertaining everybody. They're feeling it. You well, know, give, that's give, what I noticed. Give the people three words to describe your live show. Uh, three words. It depends which live show. Because, like, there's three different... I'm going past three words. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, there's three different kinds of shows. There's just, like, hip-hop, like me and a the DJ. There's, yeah. like, an acoustic set. And then there's live with a band. Um, if it's just DJ and myself, raw energy um enlightenment i don't know there you go uh, uh acoustic will be like chill smooth relax okay um if it's if it's with a band it would be uh groove funk uh shit I don't, uh, can i say i'm sorry yeah, you're like <laughs> it, um groove funk i don't know alive that doesn't hey, sound I can I can I can see it going down like that now yeah. what what video if you had to tell the people out there what video should they go check out first from you that you have out there right now um I think the newest one that I put out is beware it's like a lyric video um so like you can see what I'm saying you can feel the concept yes. more like like I want this song like I really wanted to make a statement like I, I have a statement at the end of it like it's like we can't keep pointing the finger at other people why there's things going wrong in our world. Like until we realize we're the problem, we're not. We're the ones who not saying things, we're the ones who not taking action and just allowing things to happen. Like if, until we realize that, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna, it's gonna be the same cyclical pattern of what's going on in the world today. Um, so, um, I kind of lost where I was going there. Somebody get me back on track. It's okay. It's okay. Let's, uh, we were talking about vi what video they should see yeah, first. Yeah, be beware. Lyric video. Beware. Mm -hmm. um, now, go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to interrupt you. What's your plan for 2016? Where It's right around the corner. You know, nobody's really dropping anything in the fourth quarter right now. It's so late in the year. What are your plans for 2016? Um, well, being that I have, I recorded a full record, like I've been working on that for a minute. Um, I want to release that at the beginning of next year. Uh, we're working on a, like an official video for Beware. Uh, we've already re wrote the timeline. Uh, we're sitting down for pre-production and stuff like right now, um, which I, I really want to, I want it to be a shocker. 
I, I won't say too much about it, but um, well, God us was goddess was pretty amazing i mean i i checked out that video too there's just the videography of it and everything yeah. the storyline was great yeah well see like that was my that was like my first really big like i'm gonna try to do something good and yeah. like i created something i thought it was beautiful but i mean i my mind how how it expanded from creating that i was like oh i can do that like i could do so much more creatively now yeah. um, so, and that's not like bragging thing. That's just like my mind is, I'm looking for ways for my mind to expand. And that definitely helped it. Cause it, it was a risk. It was like, I want people to, I want people to do something that might be uh, different than what you see from a, a hip hop artist. You know, it's more like R&B, Neo Soul kind of feel, but. Now, yeah. I have a lot of hip hop, hip hop artists on here. I'm talking from legends in the game who's been around 20 years, who are still making music like Juicy J from 36 Mafia to upcoming artists that are brand new. And some of them are trap and some of them are just, you know, straight hip hop. You might get anything here at the trap house, but I always ask the guests, no matter who it is, a money question. And you were hard. I said, I, I can't just ask him the same things that I asked these other guys, because see, I already know their answers. Um, the reason we do this is to try to let them get inside your mind a little bit further, the listeners, because we like we like to hear your answer on if you will do this or if you will not. Uh, I'm, I usually I'm going to give it. It costs a lot of money to do music. You know, you have to pay for this and you have to pay for that. So we're going to give him ten million dollars. You know, ten million dollars is a lot of money um, to you'd be kind of secure for a little while. Um, you got to do something for me to get the money. <laughs> <laughs> you got to okay. do something for me. And if you're going to do it, just say, yes, I'll do it and tell the people why you'll do it and take this money. And if you will not do this, then you tell them why you won't. Okay. Oh, I don't know you that well. I don't know what kind of question you're going to ask me. Here we go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I always keep it musical now. Okay, for $10 million, will you do a brand new duet with Caitlyn Jenner? Do you know who that is? <laughs> it, it, uh, I have an uh, idea. Okay, I'll explain who it is just to make sure that you know and all the listeners, you should know if you're watching the media. Um, Bruce Jenner, the uh, Olympian. Uh, who had recently had a sex change. He's a woman now, Caitlyn Jenner, the Kardashians' dad. Right, right. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so will you do a new duet with Caitlyn Jenner? Don't they got to perform it live in a bunch of places? Yes, too? all year long. They got to perform it all over the world. Uh, will what? you take the $10 million and do the track with him, her, or not? And if not, why? How much control do I have creatively over the song? None. None? <laughs> None. No. Who's gonna write it, Mike? Me? Listen, you get no. paid million dollars, man. You weren't for hire at that point. No, like it, um, and that's uh, like my nat my reaction was natural. If I had creative control over the song, mm -hmm. um, I think it would be cool to write a song about being uncomfortable in your skin. I think that would be phenomenal. Hey, but but if I had no creative control and they're just like, we just want you to sing something, we're gonna give you the idea. In like a week, you got a day to write it? No, I can't do that. Why would you do it? Why? Yeah. Say, say the question again. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't he you do it? He has no creative control, so he's not gonna do that anyway. If it's his song or that song or 10 million or what, he needs see, control. Yeah, see like like on this project, like I have, I have full creative control. So that's a habit of mine. Like if my hands aren't on it, it's difficult for me to register. I might, my brain might just shut off. Who knows? Like, cause that's what I've, I've, I've trained myself to do. So if I'm, if I'm put in a situation, $10 million is a lot of money. And I'm kind of questioning part of my brain's like, dude, like seriously, Ten but, million. but I think, I think, I think my mind and my heart, um, in trying to make something that will really make a difference is worth more than me just writing a song. Um, you, know, you know what I got to say about these questions though too, LB? Because everyone always says no for the most part, right? And because we ask a lot of the same questions, a lot of the same artists. Right. But I wonder if this would be a different answer if the 10 million was in front of you. Cash. 
And I wonder that about everyone we've asked this question to. If you had that right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, like, it's easy to say no when you know there really ain't $10 million. But well, I don't have a lawyer in front of me either, so I wouldn't sign it anyway. I usually ask the hip hop artists that are, you know, like, like I'll say, will you do the rich homie Quan dance throughout a couple songs in your set all year long? Because, you know, that dance is so messed up. Uh, so I usually ask him something like that. But we like your answer. He needs creative control. Um, now, before I let you get up out of here, we've told the people you go to blackgypsymusic.com to find him. Look up Black Gypsy Music. You will find him. Tell us, I want to hear a little about your major influences uh, in your life as far as the music goes. Who were your biggest influences? Um, okay. Um, number one... Uh, you say music. Say it one more time. Just music. Yeah. Just music. Influence. Well, writing everything that you do right now, as far as being in the music. Professional. Industry. Yeah, professionally. Okay. Um, um, mission wise, I'd say Bob Marley. Um, I how he was able to tap into music. Like it, I, I feel like. I feel like he wasn't using music. I feel like he was one with music. Um, and if, if that doesn't make sense, like like when you're playing on stage with other musicians or just working on a song and you just you can just get lost in it, if kind of forget where you are because it's just sounds and colors. Like that's all, I think he tapped into that and you could see it if you look sure. at his live performances. Mm -hmm. um, second, Lauren Hill, um, Miss uh, her Unplugged album, I think changed my life. Um, it made me want to be a hip hop artist with a guitar. And like that $10 million question, I think like her being willing to say to a, a religious leader, like things about um, priests raping little kids, like I think that's that $10 million question. Like you have a chance to meet the Pope and you, you question him about why aren't you, why aren't you telling your children or whatever you want to call them yeah. to, to, not, to not be seen with the little boys. I mean, if you're going by Bible scriptures, uh, that that causes a, a there was a prophet who who lost his his place because of that and he died because of that and he lost his position and the pope he he's he's accountable to that he's not better than any one of us um sorry i kind of got on. no you're fine uh, we love uh, hearing you. we love hearing you is that what I, another thing i'd say i was checking out some of your stuff and you have a little what was the saying uh Hear, hear the beard or something like that. What's that all about, man? <laughs> uh, 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 another uh, lo another local rapper here. Uh, his name is Verse. First Verse. Um, he's in a group. They're like the like the Wu Tang here. Uh, they're called Oil House. Uh, they do great things for the city. Wonderful things. Um, he he said uh, <laughs> he was co people compare me to James Harden for some reason. I guess because yeah. I'm black and I have a beard. <laughs> and you're in Oklahoma. Because I don't look like him. And know. you're in Oklahoma. And I'm five eight, and he's like six five. So um, he he was like, man, you should get a shirt that says "Here the Beard." Simple as that. You know, it was like a hip hop show we're rapping together. He was like, you should get a shirt with "Here the Beard." And I was like, that's kind of catchy. You know, kind of plays off the James Harden thing. Um, so it's just like a homie reference, kind of like getting a nickname. That's all that's about. But I mean, it turned with the logo and the face. Like I, I think it turned out. It's making me realize that I'm. I need to recognize I'm greater than I, I've allowed myself to be. Yeah, I mean your 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 outlook is great on things because you're doing things your way. And you, as we all know, when you get off course of your own way, what can, anything can happen, and it's right. usually not good. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, know who your surroundings are and who you're dealing with at all times and have control over where you're going. I yeah. see him going big places, okay? I can t I, I can see it. And when I say that, trust me, we're going to see him everywhere here soon. Everybody's going to know who he is. You already know I'm going to keep your tracks in rotation here at eventlevel.com. Um, any shout outs you want to give before you get up out of here? You know, I'm giving you the keys to the trap house. So make sure you release stuff and everything, you know, send it over to me. Uh, okay. Let us let us put it in rotation here at the trap. Go ahead and give your shout outs and you guys stay tuned in. Uh, we thank you so much for coming tonight. And yes. uh, we'll be right back with you after these shout outs. Go ahead, Anthony. Um, just in my heart right now, I just want to shout y'all out. Uh, 
like, like I was thinking, like, who can I shout out? But that's what I wanted to, like, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I, we're on, you know, camera, but, uh, like, I really appreciate um, the thank two you. of you. It was three, but I only talked to two of you. It's um, a lot really of us. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I, you allowed me to, like, I didn't feel weird being myself. Like, I felt like I was accepted. Um, and I think... I think people need that, artists need that, you know? So thank you very much for doing this. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Appreciate through. It. Keep us updated. Come through anytime you want to on a Tuesday and, night. And put a put a YouTube link on your on your website for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you so much, Anthony. You guys stay tuned in. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with y'all. See you, man. You're tuned in to The Trap. D-E-L-A-C-R-O-I-X-A-N-D-B-R-A-N-D-I Now let me introduce myself so hi, yo, my name is Delacroix, not the painter Here's a chance, yo, for us to get acquainted Just got a cup in the shop and he's a one-man band Got this mic in my hand And we're here to make an anthem Before the millions and the grands come through I can feed my grandsons and them some Dim sum and foo-foo Fresh veggies and fruits that haven't been pumped into uh, Got my stomach grumbling Hungry for the day Been humble for long enough It's time to raise the bar up And raise the floor up Into the ceiling And raise the ceiling into the sky And put the sky and everything in between And inside of my mind Creatively speaking, the sun is just spot my eye disappears when I sleep, die, and cry. The world is mine. Now you're witnessing a fair we're breaking out of his spot. So let's go. I'll tell you, you go. And no, if things don't go the way you can, not hate. I'll tell you, you go. It's just a shame you play in games with your own mind. Say, I'll tell you, you go. Humble yourself. If you cannot do it, you can make no one else. Chicken and waffles, a pen to the taste with bad for your brain, stomach, and asshole. Look at me talking, my snicker doodles on the shelf. Snickering at the doodles, I noodle myself. Fed a mozzarella glue to myself. I live my life like I can make it just amusing myself. From being in the back of P of chains, washing tons of rice, the kind of leaves a clear my mind to proceed. The words inside my hands, I'm a palm reader. Swim deeper off the Chiba Chiba. Deposit chains like a park meter. The world is burning like a man, but gonna re pissing on the roof. Brothers in the grim, yo, we doctor in a Doom, yo, we reaping what we sow. Get out of your box and sarcophagus and locks, yo, and just be you, you. And I'll be little on me and playing my guitar, sitting on a retreat. I'll tell you, you go, and no, if things don't go the way you can, not hate. I'll tell you, you go, it's just a shame you play in games with your own mind. Say, I'll tell you, you go, humble yourself if you cannot do it, you can make no one else. Showtime beatbox like pop rock sizzling Leading in the movement like Benjamin Written quiz on your house, big wreck, double H-I-B Manifest guardians, it is black gypsy Daylight, they called a thief for so long Cause the B-boys to pop locks a bad boy Responsible for my diabolical Just a much genetic Held in the secret cavities of my follicles Roots invaded rap game like American hospital Sugar coated like diabetics Two riches feeding hands in the griddle Competitive like Quidditch Feeding us chronicles of prodigals but never seeing us have been it. I become a volatile human molotov. Been banging out of my anatomy, astronomical. My passion is unstoppable. It's an optical illusion to stop me. It's impossible, so stop it, dude. This pops is sick, go. I'll tell you, you go. And no, if things don't go the way you can, not hate. I'll tell you, you go. It's just a shame you play in games with your own mind. Say, I'll tell you, you go. Humble yourself. If you cannot do it, you can make no one else. I'll tell you, you go. I'll take you, ego. I'll take you, ego. I'll take you, ego.
You're tuned into the trap. Original hip hop, straight from the source before magazine covers and by coastal walls before animal and man walked on all fours and walked upright. Where hearts were still pure, started gaining the senses, putting the hands where eyes could see. Genesis, bust the rhymes, was the place to be. For the beautiful struggle, it was quality music. Our reflection is eternal, now really, what are we proving? Lyrics written to aspire, and the words mercenaries for hire. Tongue split like snakes, spit a venom, but a hot like fire. Ghost pepper turner, ghost face killers, the big chains of Wu Tang, Shaolin 36. Chambers, training a master forever. In between beats and measures, I'm looking for the glow. You peacocks and keep your tail feather. Guess at the end of it, it's all part of myself. I'm black gold, returning to the soil. We're we'll steeping in oil. Are you listening? Are you consciously aware of what you're taking in? From the lips to your heart, do you swear? Are you curious of what's eating at your soul? Oh, how can we do this? How to remove this? In a world where the darkness blooming, need us a room to breathe deep. Learning from dreams, my sleep is oozing out of my mind. The only freedom is being, the only way of seeing is believing and keep reaching. Am I? It's time to remember that rap is hip hop, a child of poetry, not bagged up and zipped up, not riding in the tomb of doom. Shot up from clips tucked away, sung low. And natural born killers, fathers, they don't know. Well, how we supposed to grow up? Skin thick and stay tough in a world where peacekeepers keep us below us. Will it be all one people? Today's news to see through, see through you. Really wish this was a complete free world, a good old place to raise my boys and girls. In a world that tests nuclear bombs and take free earth to raise their net worth, brainwash us to keep us cursed. Are you listening? Are you consciously aware of what you're taking in? From the lips to your heart, do you swear? Are you curious of what's eating at your soul? Oh, how can we do this? How to remove this eternal push and pull? And our father said to get wisdom, though it costs that you have, are you willing to understand? We are back in the building once again. We've got Anthony here with us. You know, I seen him with the guitar on the live screen. Didn't even give him a chance to go do us a little live show here. So t tell us what you're going to do for us. Uh, uh, this is um, probably maybe a couple of songs down the line off the album. But it's this song called Hip Hop. It's just kind of like a chill, mellow, uh, I love you. Thank you for what you've done. You've given me a way to express my art um, to hip hop itself. Like if it was its own being, I don't know. Um, and then uh, Mike, he had this line um, that he wrote that he said he liked, and that's from that song. So I was like, okay. Yeah, so be... uh, yeah. so that song's called Hip Hop, or this song is called Hip Hop. I should just go into it. Or... Go ahead. Uh... Hey, how you doing? Where you going? What are you flowing about? What kind of words are coming out of your mouth? Or do you still write with a pen or freestyle it out? Or read your rhymes off of the phone? If hip hop is your home to represent it like you belong here, I belong here. Delacroix, black gypsy, move like the breath of love in the wind. Writing like it's my art form, writing that keeps my heart warm. The freedom to speak through songs is my birthright to write my own. Call it out, yo, it's freedom time. Come on and dance with me, expanding into the infinite realms of hip hop eternity. And that's you, and that's me. Hip hop. I wrote a song for you in hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. I wrote a song for you in hip hop. Hip hop. I move 
Who's in the inner space where stars dwell? Move in it, swim in it, yo, it's oceanic. Under the hood mechanic, I'm digging through the granite, commanding for energy, flowing kinetic, up and adding like a big and a hammer, digging through the dams. Being planted to this man, an original program. Mind became right and left, good and evil. Logic and creative became a nuclear superpowers. Now our soul's lethal. Get a power full of ego, the vessel that life breathes through. Take power just to put others beneath you. Is this the way the life was meant to be? No, we have to open our hearts to people. Well, it is what it is because we made it that. Let's take it back to the essence, to the presence, where the lessons and the masses manifesting through the fresh oil house. Namaste, I see the God of you. Uh uh. So the family see the God that you and we could be a city united, not divided by street signs. See for green with the radius, the renaissance. Manifest gave us blessing to Delacroix. Said follow the North Star, but lead you to the promised land. Don't look for someone else to be the one. See you be the promised man in hip hop. I wrote a song for you in hip hop. In hip hop. I wrote a song for you and hip hop. <laughs> and this is like where other, like a solo guitar would come in. <laughs> yes. I don't know how that sounded with this. Music. I really, really, really. <laughs> I really, really think that our main co-host, my other co-host, Dean Star, is not here with us tonight because he would absolutely love you. I'm definitely going to turn him on to you. Uh, when I hear him and I, then I see him, and that was, yeah, it sounded incredible, by the way. Uh, the sound and the guitar, everything. Um, I got like 10 people that I want to work with you already. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. What do you guys think about the live performance here, Mike? Yeah, I mean, you, it's the first guest ever that we let go and we had to bring back in because the second we right. hung up with you, we realized you remembered seeing the strap on, you had your guitar, like, wait a second. Like, He's got to come back in here and jam. It was yeah. incredible. incredible. Like, why not? You know? Like, yeah. Y'all have the Skype, why not let's do a live performance? Yeah, absolutely. Well, not, not a lot of guys in hip hop are willing to be put themselves on the spot like that either, though, you know? Uh, but that's, I mean, I practice, like, well, at least lyrically. Like, I mean, I worked on these songs for a long time. Like, it's in me, it's in my blood. So, um, it's 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 like, uh, there's, there's this quote that says, like, be ready in season and out of season. So, like, I have this opportunity here, like why not take it? If I'm not ready, then why am I even here? Yeah, and, and opportunities come in all shapes and forms because like I was going for a bike ride yesterday in the city and I seen this kid that was sitting on the bench and I needed a light for my smoke. So I wanted to go ask him if he had a light, right? <laughs> right. And, and he had a light, right? And we started talking, he had a cello with him. And he goes oh, wow. to Eastman School of Music. And we started chopping it up. And I was t telling you know, a lot of stuff, work I do in film and television and a lot of stuff like that. And we started talking and I said, you know, check this out. If I ever need a cello player, he, he, he broke it out, wailed on me. He said, I will hire you in a second, but guess what? You never know what's gonna happen because a lighter introduced us today. Hmm. And that just shows everything. You know what hmm. I mean? Yeah. At first I saw the laughter, like a lighter. But yeah. I mean, that small insignificant thing, like, I don't know. Spark their conversation, and I will yeah. use them on some recordings for sure. Absolutely, yes, young kid. Yes. Well, thank you for coming back in. We will also give you the link to this live stream that we did tonight, so that you can go back and listen and watch yourself and show your fans. Uh, everybody out there, um, you know that I've got to break my exclusive record because I do it every. Tuesday night, I'll break an exclusive record. Um, thank you once again, Anthony, for coming back and doing that show before I announce this track. Um, come back anytime. Our exclusive record tonight comes from David Gray featuring Calico Jones, and it's called Feeling Like This. Uh, BMF Swish Gang, y'all know who David Gray is. So uh, let's take a break, listen to the exclusive record, then we'll come back Trapped Out Tuesday. Thank you. You're tuned into the trap. Trap. 
trap house rocks. Exclusive. I see you working overtime, girl. You so right. Sorry that it's right. 